This is the Kurt family. They live in Germany. The Kurt family takes climate change seriously, especially since the youngest member of the family, Emma, is involved with the climate justice movement. Mr. and Mrs. Kurt have therefore decided to buy an electric car. With the ambition to slash carbon dioxide emissions from cars by almost 40% in 2030, European governments like Germany, France and the UK have granted subsidies and tax exemptions to electric mobility. But what goes hand in hand with electric mobility? Emma wants to know more about it. Besides lithium and cobalt, nickel is essential for electric vehicle batteries. Indonesia is one of the main suppliers of nickel. The country contributes to almost a fourth of the world's total mining production. To ensure that not only raw materials are exported, Indonesia has strictly limited exports and requires that batteries are also produced in the country. That sounds like a good plan. Jobs will be created and skills will be developed in Indonesia. The Baki family from Sulawesi is pleased with the plan. They live close to the Morawali Industrial Park, where stainless steel factories operate and battery component factories are being constructed. But living costs are high in industrial areas, especially local workers are usually underpaid. Due to unskilled jobs, poor working conditions and missing safety standards, work accidents frequently happen. Long working hours make the problem worse. In addition, there are environmental burdens bringing about impacts on health. Mining areas are usually not restored, resulting in floods and severe landslides. Access to farmland can be limited. On top, security guards of companies often forbid farmers to pass their road to their land. So, they are forced to take the dangerous route across the river. Coal plants provide the huge amounts of energy needed but result in acute respiratory tract infections and other related illnesses. Factories and mining facilities dump their wastewater into the sea, often containing metals and additives used in the mineral extraction process, while coastal communities, as well as international consumers, have to pay the price. Promoting a Green New Deal with labor exploitation, economic injustices and environmental degradation? That's not Emma's idea of a green deal, nor the whole Baki family's idea. Anyone, especially governments and corporations, promoting and producing electric vehicles and who are getting rich at the expense of others, must be accountable for impacts resulting from production and the supply chains and have to change these conditions immediately. Corporations and governments can no longer externalize responsibility. Climate change knows no boundaries. By the way, it is not about consuming differently, it's about consuming less. Otherwise, nothing will change. That's why the Court family decided to take the bus.